Hello my loves, hi, how are you doing? Mama Bear back with another video. How are you doing my loves, my sweeties? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My loves, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are watching more from. Yes? What do you think of my new cup? Mm -hmm. Can you read that? <laughs> Can you read that? <laughs> So thank you so much for my returning service. The love is overwhelming. Thank you for the video that I shot the other day for the Mwakazi's love story. Oh my God, the support is overwhelming. Thank you, I really appreciate. Okay guys, so if you're new on this channel, I go by the name Rose Williams Kenya or Mama Bear and you most welcome okay guys so for my returning service i love you are you not the best are you not the best so thank you so much for everything today i am going to do a very short video that is has been highly requested people have been asking mama bear mm, can you tell us uh-huh the secret behind your glowing skin and first of all, let me say thank you for the compliment. I do not take that for granted. Um, thank you so much. Okay. Uh, so let's dive right into the video. Okay. So. Uh, to start with I don't have a lot of things that I do with my skin but again I will be very very uh, generous with the little information that I have and I've just tried to put them down uh, on paper so that I can just be very quick before I forget that is why sometimes I have to note things down this is exactly what I do and that is what I'll tell you to do. I will not tell you that when you do exactly this that you will get the same results. But again, um, oh, I'm in love with this cup. Uh, but again, maybe if you tried, you might get such results. So, welcome. So the first thing that I do once in a week, and even, I'll not even lie, sometimes I even forget. And I do it like once in two weeks like rather two twice a month i do scrub my face and i have the ingredients that i do use right here with me so i will i will keep showing you guys right uh -huh. so this is what i use this is called invigorating milk scrub for all skin types you can try and look for all skin types most people don't know their skin types so you can try and uh, look for these ones because this one because it's going to be very okay with whichever skin that you use after you exfoliate with this one once a week or maybe once in two weeks but don't go far from that don't go like a whole month without exfoliating because you know most times our skin cells will just die and we just need to scrub and remove the dead cells to rejuvenate our skin after i i scrub i go right ahead and use a face mask this is what i do use right now after you exfoliate with a scrub i use the face mask also once exactly like once in a week or once in two weeks like immediately i scrub after that i do use the mask then after using the mask i will that is not what i do every day that is just once or twice a month right i hope we are together not once a month once a week or twice in a month after that i will come maybe let's now go back to now everyday routine right uh, in the morning of course when you wake up you take a shower guys 
girls don't wake up and put on your clothes and run uh -huh. please make sure you take a shower then after that guys this is what i do apply <laughs> i am not lying this is bay <laughs> this has been bay for the last many years this one eh? this is what i use most times and then when i use that to avoid uh to avoid what a shining i will now go right ahead and use this baby powder i am not being paid by any of the products that i am talking about here but if you johnson's and um aremis and the rest of the products that i'll show here wish to yeah i know you get that <laughs> i am right here i am just a phone call away <laughs> anywho after you i apply this and I just go right ahead and apply this because guys most of the times I don't use makeup I do use makeup but as a few times I do use it when I am on the screen like right now but guys right now I don't have any makeup on this face like you can see I don't have any makeup um, so most of the times I will just apply this and this and rush and go wherever it is that i'm going guys i've already i've also found another bay can you see this guys let me tell you about this nice and lovely uh they have two like there's this one um gla more glycerin and shea butter and there's another one with coconut yeah those are the two of their products so let me tell you something about this thing this thing is really nice when you apply your skin becomes really soft and then it does not attract dust so you can apply on your body on your legs and you know guys the way sometimes you apply pet petroleum jelly and then when you're walking and then it attracts all the dust you know uh this one doesn't so but this one i, I will tell you about now how to how i do take care of the body so i'll tell you about the rest of the things so sometimes i do apply this and when you apply this another thing apart from just attracting it does not attract dust it does it also does not make you shine you know the way you will apply uh, oil and then you shine guys i don't know because for me i don't apply lotion there's some people who do apply lotions on their face but i think i've ever tried and the sweating even if you even if you put on some powder the sweating is insane so for me the the uh the lotions i do use them on the body so on my face i do apply petroleum jelly because these two as you can see these two are petroleum jellies just a bit okay uh so this is what i apply the petroleum jelly so these two have been my base so you can use whichever it is that works with you i just showed you because i was talking about my skin routine so i'm telling you about mine it doesn't have to be yours you can go right ahead and use what you use because now skin types can be different we are together from uh, uh, uh from there so that is point number two because point number one was scrubbing and the point number two is when you wash like when you wash you come from the bathroom you wash your face with lukewarm water and then you pat it dry you pat it dry guys with um you wash it you have your own uh you have a specific uh facial face towel guys there's something people go wrong the face the towel that you use on your face should not be the same one you use using on your body and it shouldn't be the same you're using on your legs guys there's something that people really go wrong you are you know your face is really tender and soft and of course the whole body should be like that but again the face i don't know why because you might realize that at times you'll find you have pimples on your face but you don't have them on the body i think the skin type on the face is usually really different so um you should have a different face towel and then another one for the body 
and then you should also have another one for the legs because guys i don't expect you to be washing your legs and maybe for the ladies most times we put on open shoes then you can imagine the dust the dirt the everything and then that thing that you're washing the legs with you might start from up here and you're washing and you wash your legs uh last but remember now tomorrow you will now start the same dirt you will now bring it up you start again you take it down there and uh back to the <laughs> please we're we, we're not we're not doing this guys we're not doing this we are just being clean and clean flicks freaks clean freaks did i say flicks hey jesus have mercy on wow anywho we said you have one for the face you have another one for the body whites for the face another one for the body and another one yeah you, you know you can just try look for different colors so that you know which is which which is for where all right and then the legs guys let me tell you what i use for my legs hmm? anyway i'll talk about that in the next video we're talking about the face today right so you are from the bathroom you have scrubbed you have washed with lukewarm now you're coming now to apply these things make sure you don't forget sunscreen guys this is one thing people left for the white guys people left sunscreen for the white and africans because we are black we decided that black don't crack who said that black do crack oh try go out and most times for some of us that mostly we are up and about walking on the road and doing deliveries and all and the hot sun is on your face all the time Try do that for three, four days under the sun, a very hot sun, and you don't have such a thing to cover your face, to cover your foreskin. Did I say foreskin? Forehead. Hi! Where did foreskin come from? God, have mercy on me. I meant forehead. I will edit that one, no but anyway i'll not edit it forehead and this is a skin also anyway <laughs> oh i have to be right at the end of the day <laughs> we said black don't crack guys it does crack if you try to do that for very uh like a whole week you will one day find that you have a lot of scaly skin because you just avoid it to buy such and guys this thing is not even expensive and then by the time you're buying it you just look for the spf stroke uvb guys this 90 plus i don't know if you can see this is 90 the higher the spv sorry spf the better it's going to protect your skin from uv you know the ultraviolet rays from the sun the harsh rays that come in in a bamboo it just destroys uh, your face you know just make this one your friend and well it it does leave a little what do we call it whitish something but that one now so you apply very little and then you mix very well with the jelly or whatever it is that you use and then you, you rub like this very well and you apply most times if you're applying makeup it will be covered but again if you're not applying any makeup just try and use a little so that you don't go now looking white and like you have a mask and you're scaring people outside there are we together guys are we together so um we have said about using the sunscreen make it your bay make it your bay if you know any sunscreen that does not leave a white uh, residue please write it on the comment section down below and i will be really happy to try it out so far so good are we together 
I know we are together up until there. So guys, continue subscribing. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave your comment and let me know what you think, okay? So we are on point number four. If you are applying makeup, and like I said, you don't have to apply makeup always, but that is another point. So if you're applying makeup, guys, make sure that your makeup is legit. Don't go on the streets and everybody that is putting their, their, their makeup on the street and it's it's being sold for a dollar, two dollars, and you're there buying and you don't know even where it came from and you're applying and you're having some breakout and all. Please, eh? don't do that. Just look for legit you know, I don't know how you will know the legit per se, but again, what I know is that if you go to very good stalls, you will definitely find good, uh, good um, makeup, right? You can go to stalls like Linton's and others. Mm, Linton's have not, uh, I, I, they have not paid me over for this. But if you feel like you need uh, me to advertise, <laughs> all right. Um apply you know guys this is what i use this is the foundation i use and maybe we can do this when you're talking about the makeup because that one people have also requested i am not a makeup artist i am not a guru in that field but again we are not talking about how to do makeup we are talking about mama bears uh -huh. how she does her own because many people have told me oh, you look good when you apply that thing so can you just let us know how you do it and who am i not to, to say because if you think i'm good at it and you appreciate that and you make me believe that i'm good at it then why not try share with you what it is that i do okay so that is number four we are not applying no fake makeup the price also can try make uh, you uh, know if uh, a product is is fake or is genuine okay so point number five i think i said it already no need for makeups always like guys like you see guys i don't have no makeup okay maybe somebody will not believe it so what i'm doing right here these are wipes these are wipes okay so sorry mm. you you don't apply makeup always so you see can you see no makeup there mm-hmm any makeup so today i just came with my natural face so that i can show you that you can still look beautiful even without makeup but again makeup once in a while is also very beautiful you can go right ahead and use that so just avoid fake makeup that is that is the essence of it if you have to apply makeup then make sure it's legit if it's not please do away with it because you're beautifully and you're wonderfully made and created in the image of god so trust you me you're looking good all the same number six let's talk about avoid touching your face always i thank god sometimes you know some things are just some some things are just uh you know everything has a good and a bad part of it you see like this corona this covid has made us to avoid touching our face all the time because you know your hands most times they will be touching all all surfaces and all infections all bacteria everything will be everywhere and then you're there touching your face all the time i'm just doing this because i'm just demonstrating i don't touch my face all the time by the way <laughs> so you know you, you transfer the bacteria from there to your face Okay. now you start getting breakout pimples and all uh -uh. we're not touching our face so we are not touching our face what we're doing all the time we are sanitizing we are washing our hands so that in case you have to because sometimes you might just feel itchy and you have to touch your face then make sure that your face is very sorry your hands 
are very clean. Are we together up to there? I am telling you exactly what I do for this face. And it's you that told me that my face is nice. Well, not that I didn't know, but I, 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 when you told me that, I, I, th I thought, wow, why not share? Why not share what it is that I do? Right, guys? Uh, in case, this is number seven. In case you ever happen to find a pimple anywhere, pimples come at very queer and uh, shady places. Eh? A, a big pimple can just come here so that when you're walking, eh, it's just there popping like this. Avoid popping it. Avoid, you know, the way you'll find girls like this. Eh? Sorry, uh, you'll find girls like this. Ooh. <laughs> you know now that one when you pop it you will now it will now become a blackhead mm. it will really look bad you know i'm not saying that people with blackheads look bad but i'm trying to imagine if you just brought it to yourself you will not feel happy you know um maybe those ones that have that acne kind of thing maybe you can just visit a dermatologist and they will try help you and uh, you can just try follow the instructions from the doctor and uh, with time it really does change also look at the makeup that you use if you do use or just try look at the hygiene and such kind of things if you're trying to follow everything to the letter and you still have that then maybe it will clear at, at one time or another so but just make sure if you have a clear face and you find a pimple, because those people that have a clear face are the ones that are really, really uh, disturbed by small things. Don't pop it. So what if people say, oh, she's on her periods, oh, she's on, she's doing what? That's why she, ah, so what? Don't mind them. Don't mind nobody. Just walk confidently with that pimple. Let it just finish by itself, okay? And you will thank me for that. Mm -hmm. You'll thank me because it will it will just come down it will it will clear and there will not be any there will not be any 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 spot remaining there. Okay, number eight. Never are we clear? Eh? Never ever sleep while you have your makeup on. By the way. Why should you sleep on your makeup? It means, it only means that you never showered. Never. Even if you're tired, even if you're tired, how tired you are. Hey, I'd rather you don't eat. I'd rather you don't do nothing. But make sure you take a shower. And before you go to the bathroom, you remember our face mask? Sorry, our face towel. We said it's white. We said it's clean. We have to keep it clean. It doesn't have to be white, but let it be clean. Okay? You cannot now go and uh, put all that makeup. Let, let, let me show you guys. Let me show you. Let me show you the makeup. You see? Um, this is makeup. I, I just put a little here. Okay, I'll not spread it so much because I just wanted to show you. Imagine now taking your white towel and now or in the bathroom and now showering, showering, showering. Show uh -uh. You have to first use a wipe, a wet wipe, guys. Let me show you. Can you see that? Guys, can you see that? You have to take a wet wipe. This is a must, guys. Can you see? Okay, I'm not even saying this exact this brand, guys. I'm not talking about the exact brand. This one is called Pure and Soft. Gently cleans and removes face and eye makeup. This one is specifically for, for makeup. I usually also have uh, for baby wipes. Baby wipes, let me show you. Yes, this is Carson's. I also use these ones. You see these ones? By the way, this, 
these are usually very economical because you buy one and you get one free you can either buy the blue ones or the pink ones these are baby wipes they do the same thing with these ones okay guys so but this one is specifically for removing your um makeup and then you see it's in a smaller pack so it can really fit inside your handbag okay so when you come from work or you come from out you come from wherever you're coming from make sure the first thing you do is to clean use a wipe or two mostly i go with two i can use two or sometimes i'll even go with three these things are not expensive guys like this one this one is 70 shillings 0 0.7 of a dollar okay these ones and when they are two they go for around 200 and something i really can't remember very well but at the end of the day i'm just trying to show you how affordable they are so you have no reason to say that you don't have uh wipes so you can use two or three wipes and then when you're very uh done and maybe the third wipe is clean and clear then go to the shower wash your face very well with warm water and soap and then you clean sometimes i also like when after that i just love just now putting some cold water on the face it just relaxes just feels so nice right guys so from there that is point number eight point number nine guys take a lot sorry sorry i just hit my tripod with the legs take a lot of water 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 magic my and however you call it from your place uh -huh. take a lot of it a lot all the time be hydrated all the time okay and then last but definitely not least smile jesus loves you <laughs> guys let me tell you smiling we make sure that your face is not wrinkled your face is not like all the time <laughs> what did i just do really hi mama bear mm, sometimes the things you do uh -uh. smile you know when you smile you just look good you just illuminate some nice vibes out there okay guys so those are my 10 points let me quickly rush through them i said scrub and use a mask once or twice once in a week or twice in a month wash your face with lukewarm water and pat it dry that is exactly what i do and then number three i do use sunscreen number four if i have to apply makeup i make sure that it is legit i don't use fake so please don't also use fake number five no need for makeups all the time like guys i said sometimes i just wash my face and i apply this uh -huh, or this and i run where i am going yeah so avoid touching your face all the time because we said we are not transferring no that and then don't pop don't pop nothing uh never sleep on makeup please take a lot of water and after you have done all that smile because jesus loves you and mama bear loves you thank you so much for your continued support you are awesome if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe it's right here where i am pointing it's red in color touch it and then you tap the bell and then there will be three bells that